Hi everyone, Mixie here. For today's video, I thought I'd show you some machine configurations that would be good to use free plays on, or plays that I would say you can win in one or two plays. So the first machine configuration is this hanging on a ribbon type configuration where the prize, it has ribbon taped to it, and it's hanging on this metal, metal bar with rubber plastic that is attached to it to help it make, make it harder to fall off. So, I would only recommend playing this if one, your aim is really good because this one, you have to have a pretty, pretty good aim to actually have the claw land and reach the ribbon. So there's very little room for error. Two, I would only recommend playing this after either watching someone else play and queuing up right after them so that you do not have to waste plays knowing where you need to stop the claw. And three, your, your internet connection should be pretty good because this one is not very forgiving if there is a lag. So I started playing, I use, I pop in here, I'm playing after someone else and I make sure to take note of the markers. So I want to use these back pictures as markers and I know that I should stop this claw this right side of the claw very close to this cat if I want to make sure that the left claw falls down very close to the prize. So here I go playing. Okay, so here I go. I fall down, I go very close, I even hit the bar and it just snatches against the ribbon and drops the prize. So that was pretty fun and Usually what I find is that like people actually drop out of playing for this prize because if their aim is not really good, then they're just wasting their time. So even though you can queue up and be like fifth in the queue, it's still possible that all the people in front of you will just drop off. So for the next machine configuration is this one. So it's the multi-parallel bars. So I popped in here and I noticed that one, the spacing of the bars is pretty good so that the prize could fall down pretty much without any issues and not have to take like a whole bunch of like poking and jabbing to get it down. And two, I don't know if you can tell, but this pom-pom purine, the front of the pom-pom is actually like hanging off of this bar, maybe like, I don't know, a few centimeters, an inch, and that makes for a good sort of like um, possible of having the prize flip over and in between these bars. So I come in here and I'm like, okay, hey, let's try flipping this pom pom purine over. So I go and aim toward the back half of the prize to just lift it up enough so that it could fall forward. And there it goes. It's always fun when you kind of find the claw strong enough to lift the prize and it's positioned well enough where you can just fall forward. Okay, this one. Okay, so this prize, I popped in here, I saw these Tuxedo Sams. I saw they were like pretty well moved around and that you'll notice that when you have a prize and it's a really big prize and it's evenly weighted like Tuxedo Sams, it's pretty much like not like a, an even way like a cinnamon roll where like cinnamon's head is like a lot heavier is that when you have like a strong claw and a very even prize then the falling scenario can possibly happen you do a center lift in the middle and it will completely lift the prize up and when it falls it will bounce out which is considered a win so those are always kind of fun these ridiculously strong calls. Okay, so I popped into here. This is actually a very recent um, prize that came out about a week ago. And I was like, hey, no one was playing this. And I was like, prize A is sitting up. That is usually a red flag for like, this is probably a strong claw because how in the world can a weak claw sit up a prize that this is actually a pretty big prize. I think it's pretty heavy. So I was like, okay, so let me try and win prize B and flip it over the bar, even though there is this front bar, but it's still possible to flip it over this because this front bar isn't super high. So I go after prize B and I'm like, okay, let's aim slightly, um, midway a little bit toward the back so that I can lift it up and fall forward and up oh, so the I don't know if you saw but it looks like the front leg hit 
this front bar and it was a little bit too close so it didn't want to fall forward. So at this point, this is my second move, and I honestly probably should have given up because it's not straight anymore. Usually if the prize is not straight, it becomes maybe impossible to actually flip forward, especially with this um, blocking bar. So it kind of goes up and falls falls out. So at this point, if you only had a few plays, I would just give up by now. But since it was actually a very strong claw, I just kind of kept playing because at this point, if you notice, the head of the prize is actually falling already. So I just had to move this front part of this prize right so that the back would fall through the bars. So this is my third play. I was like, oh, let me just win this and then wait for a restock. Here's my fourth move. Oh. Strong claws are so wonderful. It would have taken so many plays with a weak claw. And then here's my final move. It's almost falling. Just gotta move it a little bit more to the right. Oh, and there it goes. Okay, so won that one and I tried winning A, but it was pretty much not really able to move it. So I wait for the restock and here we go. So I try for prize B again. I want to do the flip over the front bar because it's in a very nice straight position. Here we go. Go for slightly toward the back, lift it up. And does it work? Yay! It actually lifted up, but it didn't flip it over, so I was like, darn it! Okay, but this prize is big enough in that when the claw comes back, it will hit the prize! Okay, so currently there is a rule where if it is the prize is stuck to the claw, then Tereba will award you the prize. So it turns out Tereba actually did award me the prize because in this was my winning play in my account and if you're out if you're unsure if it's a stuck prize you can actually um wait on your turn and immediately submit a ticket for the prize confirm confirmation and sometimes they're really quick usually they're pretty quick on confirming if you've won a prize so that you wouldn't have to waste an extra turn but for me i was going to play for b for prize a so i was like hey let me just play for that and drop. Guarantee that prize that just fell and play for prize A. Because to be honest, I don't know, maybe if I say if I left, I didn't have any more free plays or didn't want to play anymore, that maybe the person after me would have won it. So sometimes I like playing that one extra one just to guarantee it. And if you see here for prize A, prize A, if I go back here, if you notice, it was actually facing the other direction, so its center of gravity was different. Like, I think either its head was heavier, so that when I lifted it, I lifted too far close to the front bar. I should have lifted it a little bit further back so that it would fall forward. But even then, it has a hat, so I don't think it would sit up very well. So I ended up picking it up, and it flopped out out of bounds, which was a bummer because it would be nice, of course, to, you know, two one-play wins. Anyways, that concludes the plays, and I hope that was helpful in spotting some good machine configurations. So if that was helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!